She's here, she's here. How do I look? Do I look smart? <laughs> oh, good grief. This isn't about you. I'm coming. Now listen, one of the great minds of the 21st century is about to play host to one of the other great minds of the 21st century. <laughs> So pay attention. Years from now, my biographer might ask you about this event. Oh, I have so many things to tell your biographer. <sighs> Dr. Cooper, thank goodness I completely forgot your address, but then I remembered that I'd written it on my hand. <laughs> Lucky for me, I didn't confuse it with what I'd written on my other hand, which were the coordinates for a newly discovered neutron star, because if I tried to go there, I'd be crushed by hypergravity. <laughs> anyway, hello. Hello. Nice to finally meet you in person. I would imagine it is. <laughs> this is my friend and roommate, Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. Hi, hello. Uh, uh, oops. I, I just started to say hi, and then I switched to hello in the middle. It came out high low. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I, I've read both your books and most of your papers. I, I'm Leonard. I, I live here. You're brilliant. <laughs> I apologize, he's only an experimental physicist. No need to apologize. Some of my best friends are experimental physicists. Well, not my best friends, but I know them. My best friend is a molecular chemist named Wendy. Sorry, I'm rambling. Hi, Lo. <laughs> are you hungry, thirsty? Can I offer you anything? No, nah, she's my guest. If anyone should offer her anything, it should be me. Elizabeth, can I get you something? Perhaps a feminine hygiene product or a bowel-regulating yogurt? Interesting choices. Based on my current needs, I guess I'd pick the yogurt. Excellent. If the yogurt works, I bought some delightful scented candles. 